Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today let's learn how to do unsupervised classification using the Eldas software. So we come to unsupervised and we select unsupervised classification. Now you select your input which it has already done that for me but if your image is not already open you can just navigate to your folder and then we need to specify our output cluster layer. So I'm going to name it unsupervised and it's going to be in the .img format. The method can either be the k-means or the iso data and they are both the same. The only difference is that k-means assumes that you already know the number of classes and you need to specify the number of classes. So you can have as many classes as you want but I'm going to use four classes. So you can have like 30 classes, but in this video, because I don't want it to be very long, I'm just going to use four classes. And then you need to specify the number of iterations, like the number that you want the software to repeat the classification process. So we are going to use five, that means it's going to do it five times. And you click on the classify zeros. So then we wait for it to do the process. So you've seen that we haven't created any training areas because as I said in my previous video, here you just need to specify the number of classes that you need. So it's easy and it's fast. So you just wait until it finishes the iterations. So now it's computing the pyramid layers. So in the end we are expecting an output image which has four classes. So now it's done, we click dismiss and then I'm going to open another view so that you can see the two images. You can compare the previous and classified and the classified one. So you just go to the recent files and then you, you compare the two so you can see they are kind of similar. You can see the green area. So this green here represents the vegetation area so you can you can see there is an alert here so just click on the correct the alert problem and then let's open the attribute table let's see what we have here so as i said we're supposed to have four classes so you can see we have four classes and it's showing you the red green blue properties So you can see this class one here is the vegetation. Maybe you can change it to another, to a dark green color. Totally depends with what you want. And you can be able to, to compare the two images. Since if you're familiar with the area, you will be able to know what color represents what class. Like if we link these two images here, let's link the views, you click on the link views, so now when I zoom in, it shows me what is here in the previous image, what's on the output image. So clearly you can see the dark, the dark color here is the urban area, see we can change it to maybe a brown color. So yeah, this is the urban area. Yeah, that's what you are going to do for your classes. This is basically how you do the unsupervised classification. So that's it. That's the end of this video. Thanks so much, guys.